What is neoclassical art? Art that was from the time period of 1770 to 1830 is considered to be neoclassical. During the ideals of the Age of Reason, this art was intellectual and restrained. These paintings were said to have a noble simplicity. Neoclassical art can be characterized by looking for these certain qualities. This art is serious, usually lacking emotion and can be sternly heroic. This art featured a more realistic approach as well as depth in the background. There was also a reverence towards the traditional artistic values. Homer was a frequent subject and inspiration for their work, as was Virgil, Sophocles, and Plutarch. Themes of the paintings emphasized stoicism and heroicism. Neoclassicism was the revival of the classical style, but in a new perspective with a cleaner style. It is also said to be a reaction against the excesses and garish style of the Rococo period. Paintings used somber colors, tended to have sharper, cleaner lines, and was very clear. A subdued palette was used, as well as linear composition. The people were painted to be depicted as showing goodness and purity. This style also depicts a moral narrative that can represent an ideal or tell a story. The paintings also depicted classical scenes from Greek and Roman history and mythology. Painters sought to show reverence to classical scenes throughout history by faithfully reproducing the architecture and clothing of ancient times. One of the most famous neoclassic painters was French painter Jacques-Louis David, who painted his most famous Andrew Mack mourning over the body of Hector. He was a preeminent painter of the era and an active supporter of the French Revolution. He developed his empire style notable for its use of warm Venetian colors. Most of his work shows gender roles. One of his paintings, Patroclus, shows detailed form of the masculine body by painting soft strokes along the muscles. This shows the masculinity of most of his paintings. Another popular artist of the neoclassic era was Jean Auguste Dominique Ingres. He was well known for his modern art and mostly did portraits with a romantic style. He was considered one of the last neoclassic painters and portrayed his paintings through absolute truth and seen through a mirror and was known as pure and simple. Joseph Marie Venn was a French painter who created a stage look. He painted immoral subject matters as seen here in the Cupid cellar and his brush strokes became smoother and harder as he aged. He also painted Greek subjects as you see in many of his paintings. Antonio Canova was an Italian sculptor from the Republic of Venice who became famous for his marble sculptures that delicately rendered nude flesh. The sculpture was inspired by ancient art of a physically idealized and emotionally detached figure. This work came to define the neoclassical style. The success of the sculpture earned him a block of marble from which he created Thesis and the Minotaur. This sculpture established Canova's famous reputation, but Canova's most famous work is the Psyche Awakened by Cupid's Kiss. His rival, Berthel Thorvalsen, was a famous Danish sculptor. His most famous sculpture is Christ, which is located in Copenhagen. During his life, he created more than 500 sculptures, reliefs, and portrait busts, and he donated all of his works to the city of Copenhagen. His other famous piece is the Lion of Lucerne, which he designed. Both of these artists were considered the best during the neoclassic period. Our music is from Symphony No. 8 in D Major by Mozart, who was famous during the neoclassical time for his music. <laughs> 